Welcome to the Hydro Geosphere video training series. This video tutorial will walk you through the essential workflow required to run any Hydro Geosphere simulation on the Windows operating system. When working with Hydro Geosphere, every time you build or run a new model, you'll need to follow the five steps shown here. Each of these steps will be discussed in some detail during this video, and I'll finish the tutorial by walking through the workflow with you using the Abdul example project. In summary, the Hydro Geosphere workflow always begins with a grok file, which contains all the input commands required to build your model. Once the grok file has been configured, you will run a series of executables to create your model input files, run the simulation, and then reformat your model output files for visualization. At this point, your model results will be in a format which you can easily review and visualize. Let's take a closer look at each of these steps. All Hydro Geosphere models begin with a grok file, which contains various commands or instructions which are used to build the model input files. All input commands are contained within the grok file, and in fact this is really where all of the user input happens. There are hundreds of commands available to the users of Hydro Geosphere, and they're all documented in detail within the reference manual which you can find within the HGS installation directory. The installation directory also includes over 30 example projects, each with its own grok file and any associated data. If you're new to Hydro Geosphere, we highly recommend spending some time to carefully review these grok files. This will help you to understand the structure of a grok file and to become familiar with some of the more common grok commands. You can also use these grok files as templates for future projects of your own. Once the grok file for a project has been written, you will need to run three executables. The first of these executables is known as grok, or grok.exe. Grok reads the .grok file associated with your project and creates the input files required to actually run the numerical simulation. To run grok, you will need to access the command line, cmd.exe. The simplest way to do that is directly from the project folder using Windows Explorer. Simply type cmd in the address bar and then press enter to open the command prompt. Within the command prompt, you can then type grok.exe and when you hit enter, grok will begin reading the grok file and creating your model input files. After grok is run successfully, the command prompt will display a normal exit message and the model input files will be displayed in the project folder. For more information about each individual input file, you can refer to the reference manual. The next step in the Hydro Geosphere workflow is to run the PHGS executable. PHGS is the program which actually solves your model. In other words, it performs the simulation and solves the system of equations associated with the project. Once again, the command prompt enables you to run the PHGS executable. In the command line, simply type phgs.exe and hit enter to run the simulation for the current project folder. After successfully solving all time steps, the command prompt should display the normal exit message and the model output files will appear in the project folder. However, the majority of model output files are in a binary format which you're not going to be able to easily review. In order to review and visualize your results, a third and final program must be run which will reformat the model results into something more helpful. To reformat your results for techplot, you can use the hsplot.exe executable, which will reformat the model results into the .dat file format. To reformat your results for paraview, you can run the hgs2vtu.exe executable. This will reformat the results into the .vtu file format. In either case, simply type the name of the executable into the command prompt and hit enter once more. Once again, a normal exit message will be displayed if the program was successful. Finally, you can import the results into your desired visualization software and begin reviewing the results. The results shown here are shown in TechPlot 360, which is the application that Aquanti recommends for visualization of model results. Now that we're familiar with the overall Hydro Geosphere workflow, let's see it in action. As I mentioned earlier, the Hydro Geosphere installation folder includes over 30 verification problems which you can review to understand how to apply grok commands. 
These example problems can be found in the verification folder. To demonstrate the workflow, I'll run through the simple Abdul test case. In each problem folder, we'll find the grok file associated with the project and any associated input files. For example, the mprops file, which contains property values for the porous media, and the oprops file, which contains property values for overland flow. Within the grok file, we see all of the commands used to generate the model input files. Each grok file typically follows a similar overall structure, starting with the problem description, followed by grid generation and layer elevation assignment. General simulation parameters, material properties, initial conditions, and boundary conditions are then specified. Typically, towards the end of the grok file, you will find time step controls and numerical simulation parameters. To easily access the command prompt and begin the simulation process, we can type CMD into the address bar of the Windows Explorer and press Enter. Within the command prompt, we can then execute grok, phgs, and hsplot. We start by typing grok.exe into the command prompt and hit Enter. Grok displays its progress, and when it's finished, it shows the normal exit message. As you can see, a variety of input files have also been added to the project folder. We now continue with the numerical simulation by running phgs. Simply type phgs.exe into the command prompt and hit enter to initiate the simulation. Depending on the complexity of your model and the power of your computer, PHGS may take several minutes, hours, or possibly even days to successfully solve the system of equations. In the case of the Abdul verification problem, Hydrogeosphere should solve the problem in less than a minute. As Hydrogeosphere solves the system of equations, you can review the progress of the simulation within the command prompt. HGS will display a variety of information, including the simulation time, a summary of the nonlinear iteration, and an adaptive time stepping update. At each successful time step, we should see a message that the solution at the current time step was accepted, at which point the simulation progress for the next time step will be displayed. If your model is running successfully, this will continue until the final time step is solved. Once again, for a successful simulation, we see the normal exit message, and a variety of new output files have been loaded into the project folder. As I mentioned earlier, most of these output files are formatted as binary files, which means they are not easily reviewed uh, by a human reader. With that in mind, we'll now have to run hsplot in order to reformat these files for easy visualization. To do that, we just type in hsplot.exe into the command prompt and hit enter. Once hsplot.exe has successfully run, we should find a number of uh, formatted data files with the .dat type uh, in the project folder. These can now be easily imported into TechPlot for visualization. You can do that from the TechPlot interface or you can simply drag and drop them in. But model visualization is a topic for another video. For more information about Hydrogeosphere, please visit Aquanti.com and feel free to join the HGS user community. Links are included in the description. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more Hydrogeosphere video tutorials.